Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm very excited because I bought this like candle making kit at Walmart and it cost me $18. So looking at the contents of it, it was a little expensive, but whatever. I thought it would be a fun little craft for us to do together. Um, so I have opened it already here, but I took some shots for you before I opened it when it still looked nice. I just really wanted to get to the instructions to see what I needed uh, before we set this whole thing up. Um, I feel a little witchy making a candle, so that's why I'm wearing one of my smaller witch hats, and also uh, I'm wearing a shirt that is sold as a pajama shirt by Emin Sprout. So if you've never heard of her, she's an Etsy store. I love all of her designs, her patterns, everything. I have a bunch of her dresses, and she recently put out this sort of witchy pajama set. I will be wearing this shirt as a regular shirt. Thank you very much. The shorts may be just pajamas, but the, the, the shirt, definitely for real. So I'm just going to open the um, candle instructions here. So not the French ones, the English ones. Carefully glue the bottom of the round metal piece of the cotton wick to the inside center of one of the empty candle jars using either a glue gun or super glue. I have nail glue, that should be okay. So I didn't realize when I bought this that the candle jars are so small. Like this is a shot glass, um, but that's okay. I will live to see another day. So the packaging in here is really cute. It, everything is taped down. There's all that like Eastery paper confetti stuff in the back. This kit makes two candles, and I think it's like vanilla and spice and blossom and clove are the two that it says you can make. Um, and you can put gift tags and stuff on them. I'm not going to because they are for me. They also had another candle set at Walmart that was um, crystals and not botanical. And I was really interested in that one too. So if we have fun with this today, we might do the crystal one at some point as well. I don't know. I just thought the botanical one seemed like more fun to start out with. So I freed the wicks from their tape prison. I'm just going to bend it up. And then what it wants me to do, okay, you can see it if I put it on top of the bowl. The bowl is going to be for uh, melting the wax. So I'm just going to open the glue. Put a whole bunch of it right on the bottom. And then what you're supposed to do is you set this down right in the middle. And then they give you these wooden sticks to kind of help push it down. And then the wooden sticks are also supposed to help burn coals. It's moving. That's hard, man. I'll just hold it here for a sec. And then once I think it has like a decent hold, you're supposed to use the little sticks to help hold the wick up while it dries the rest of the way. I believe step two or whatever step after we have the wick sitting there waiting to dry is to heat up the wax chips. So I have this bowl, which is actually a ramen takeout bowl. It is microwave safe. And this is a bowl, a bowl, a bowl, a bag of wax chips. And it says to put it in the microwave. What does it say? Uh, in a microwave sample, melt one bag of the soy wax chips at 30 second intervals until it is completely melted. Please be careful as the contents of the bowl may be hot when removing. Select the fragrance you would like to use and add 8 to 10 drops into the melted wax. <laughs> it actually says 8 to 10 drops into the melted was and stir, <laughs> but it should say wax. And then carefully and slowly pour the melted wax mixture into the candle jar. Try to avoid pouring directly onto the wick stem. How? That is just... All right. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to use my phone and we're going to go to the kitchen and we're going to vlog heating this up from my phone and then we're going to come back in here and add the scent and pour it in without spilling hot wax all over myself. Sounds like wishful thinking. Okay, so this is my microwave safe bowl. These are the wax chips. We're just going to cut them open. And put them in the microwave. Woohoo! 30 second number one is done. Let's look. Pretty much nothing happened. Let's put it back in. Part two. Okay, it has now been four minutes. Let's see if that worked. 
It did work. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so now it wants me to add some smellies. So one of these is vanilla. This one is vanilla, apparently. So we're just gonna... Oh, very easy to open little bottle. And we're just gonna... I like vanilla the most. There we go. That's a good amount of vanilla. And then maybe I'll throw in... Just like a hint of the cinnamon one. I'm not really a big cinnamon smell girl, but... And then the only other smell it came with was clove. So I feel like I should use that one too, right? Okay, that was more clove than I meant to. But now I have a little bit of all three scents in. And we're just gonna try my best to not get this everywhere. And to have my phone focus. Okay, so I got it on the stick, but that's okay. Now the instructions want me to reposition this so that it's standing up in the middle, and then to use the sticks. Now it wants to fall back this way, so I'm gonna have to cross the sticks, right? Okay, so that's good. So now it wanted me to wait until, I think it said two-thirds... Carefully, slowly pour the melted wax mixture into the candle. Try avoiding pouring directly onto the wick stem. I think I did okay. Adjust the wick as needed so it stands tall in the center. Allow your candle to dry until one-third of the top is still liquid. So two-thirds is dry, is what it's trying to say. Place the dried flowers or cloves on top of the candle and use the stick to gently push each piece so it sinks in slightly. The wax might still be hot, so be careful when testing with the top of your fingers. Continue to... Let the candle dry completely until it becomes cool to the touch. Once the candle has dried, remove the wooden sticks from the wick. Trim the wick so that it is slightly shorter than the candle jar. And then it wants me to personalize my labels and make the second candle. So, uh, I'm going to have to pick off that wax that's on the side. But the hard parts are over. I just have to wait till it's mostly dry now to add the stuff on top. Okay, so this looks mostly like it's dryish to me. Like maybe less than the top third is dry. Uh, you know what I mean. It's dry enough now that I can put the stuff on it. So it came with two little packs of botanicals. So that one there is peach blossom. And then this one is cloves. Because I did accidentally put so much clove smell in this. We're going to put some cloves on top as well. How do I do this with one hand? Okay. These pieces look really big. Like I feel like... Maybe they should have given us smaller pieces. Considering how small the candles are. Okay, and then it wanted me to use the stick to push some of them down. Okay, I admit it's cute. So we're just gonna let it dry the rest of the way. I've decided I am going to just go ahead and make the other candle now, largely probably off camera. I've already glued the wick in, so I just gotta go heat up the wax is what the word I'm looking for. And we'll let this one dry all the way and then I'll put the other one together and then we're done. So I put the peach blossom pieces in before it's really uh, dry at all compared to where I put those ones in, but that's because they were like really thick little chunks. like almost like little rocks, like see how much there is? And I wanted it to like be able to settle a little bit deeper and that sort of thing. So I really can't see that affecting the candle negatively, but I just wanted to make a note that because like I feel like they didn't equally fill the clove bag and the peach blossom bag because the pe peach blossom bag was way fuller and had way thicker pieces. So, I mean, this is nearing dry now, but when I put them in, it was still very wet. So I'm sure it comes as no surprise to you at this point that I've never ever made anything with wax before. Um, so I didn't expect it to take that long to dry. I mean, I use candles, but 
I don't know, like, they, they dry faster. But these are finally dried. The second one that I made is still actually quite warm to the touch, like, on the outside of the bottle. Um, container, whatever. I didn't bother picking off the outside wax yet, but whatever. Um, so now we're going to use my favorite useless tool, which is this weight cutter that is from Yankee Candle. And it said just below, just below the glass. So we're just going to snip it like that. Cool. And now I have two tiny little cute homemade candles. This one is a little clovier. This one is peach blossomier. But for the most part, I kind of just put the same smells in them. I think they look cuter without labels. I wish more candles came without labels. I'm sure I could get them all off the other candles somehow. But I just like not, not having labels. I think they're cute in this sort of nondescript type uh, packaging. Overall, uh, this kit was expensive. <laughs> 20 bucks for these two little candles. But I had fun making it. And, like, is it really wasted money if you had fun? Just like wasting time. Is it really wasted if you had fun? I mean, would I ever buy this kid again? Probably not. But if I had kids and they wanted to do a really fun little craft, uh, depending on how, on how old the kids are, because wax. Um, but th this was fun. <laughs> Maybe I'm a child and I just think it's fun. Actually, really like the smell of the clovey one, to be honest. I don't know. I think this was really fun and I really liked it. <laughs> I totally want the crystal kit now, even though it's 20 bucks and I think it's silly. Anyway, thank you for coming on this botanical candle kit journey with me. I've been looking forward to shooting this video for literally weeks and I finally had the time today. Um, so I'm really glad <laughs> that we shot this. I think they're cute. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it two thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. And I will see you next time. Bye!